Hello and welcome to Wagner's Tech Talk. Today we're going to take a look at the GemTab M18 projector. While it has a low price tag, it is certainly not low on features. It has a number of connectivity options which will allow you to connect up pretty much anything to it. It has excellent ratings on Amazon. Let's check it out right now. Let's take a look at the features of the GemTab M18 projector. It's got 1080p native resolution support at 5000 to 1 contrast ratio. There are a number of other resolutions that are also supported. It has a 6000 lumens output. The projection distance is quite impressive at 25 feet or 7.6 meters. It supports 16 by 9 or 4 by 3 or auto aspect ratios. It has a lot of input options, including two HDMI, two USB, an SD card reader, as well as AV input and VGA. You can plug it into external speakers using the 3.5 millimeter audio output. It supports a slew of video formats. I'm not going to read them all off here. You can pause it if you want. It also supports a number of audio and image formats. Let's take a quick look on Amazon, as you can see here. The reviews are really very good. It's got a 4.6 out of 5 rating by various customers. There's also a coupon code at the present time. This may or may not be there at the time you're watching this video. But that brings the price down to really close to $200, which is a great deal in my opinion. We're going to try this projector out both indoors as well as outdoors, and I'll show you exactly what it looks like. But first, let's open the box. This unit was provided to me by the manufacturer for this review. And we are looking at the M18 LED projector. Let's go ahead and open the box and see what's inside. Looks like we have the accessories box and the projector itself. Let's go ahead and open the accessories and see what's in there. First off, we have the power cord. Nothing too exciting there, but it's good to have. <laughs> Here's the AV adapter. For connecting your retro consoles to the projector as well as a, an HDMI cable looks like it's a rather long cable that's good it also includes a remote control which is easy to operate it requires two AAA batteries which are not included in the package and a cleaning cloth for the lens of the projector as well as a manual English yes that works for me We'll take a quick glance at this manual. Feel free to pause any of this if you are interested in seeing it in more detail. It's got a whole bunch of inputs that it supports and the projection distance looks really good. There's the specs. Cool, now let's move on to the projector itself. Let's go ahead and get this foam off of it so we can get a closer look. It does have a little bit of weight to it. It's roughly around six pounds. And the build quality seems very solid, in my opinion. Looking at the panel here at the back, you can see all the buttons are available to you, so you can control it directly using these buttons rather than the remote if you so choose. Looking at the back, you have VGA input support, as well as two USB ports and two HDMI ports. HD 1 and 2, and your power input. On the right hand side, we have your SD card slot, your AV connection, and your output to your headphones or speakers. Plugging in an SD card is very easy. You just flip it upside down and just pop it right in. Why it's upside down, I don't know. <laughs> your AV cable, there you go. Plug it in and plug in your retro consoles. We'll go ahead and remove the lens cap here, and I'll show you how you can adjust the focus. You simply turn the dial to adjust your focus, and there's a close-up of the lens itself. We'll go ahead and put the lens cap back on, and one other thing I want to show you, if you turn this dial up here, you can adjust the tilt. There are a number of IR sensors here, so it can pick up your remote control at various angles. And on the bottom, you do have a height adjustment. Now let's plug it up and try it out.
In my case, I didn't have any white walls in order to project the image, and you really need a white screen of some type, so I used this. I picked it up off of Amazon.com and uh, worked out rather well. It also came with these clips to allow you to secure it to something. In this segment, we're going to be testing the Amazon Fire TV stick with the projector, as well as a couple videos I copied to this micro SD card, and this Dragon's Lair with an HDMI output. First, let's go ahead and plug in the power to the projector. I'll plug in the HDMI cable and connect it up to the Dragon's Lair, and we'll start out with that. There are a number of options that you can adjust, such as the picture mode, the sound mode, sleep mode if you want it to automatically shut off. In the picture mode, you've got standard, soft, user-defined if you want to adjust the contrast, brightness. Your aspect ratio, I'm going to set it for 4 by 3 so it'll look pretty good with the Dragon's Lair that we're about to play. There's a number of other options as well, such as if you want to mount your projector in different orientations, the screen can be rotated to compensate for the orientation you've chosen. You will find a lot of customization options here to allow you to customize it exactly to your needs. So now let's go ahead and play some Dragon's Lair. I did increase the audio levels by 1.85 decibels and the projector is sitting about two feet away from the camera. So you will hear the fan a little bit in the background. It is a little loud, but it's not very loud. It's not nearly as loud as my old projector. And again, the camera is sitting fairly close to it. The further away you get from the projector, the less noticeable the fan noise is. Now we'll change the aspect ratio to 16 by 9, and we'll play some videos off the SD card. I just wanted to show that. So we'll just pop it in place, and we'll go ahead and plug in the micro HDMI next to the micro SD card. Now we'll plug in the USB mouse. I'm going to go ahead and plug it into the USB 2.0 port over here on the right. Well, at first glance, this machine appears to be simply a Raspberry Pi 4 laptop running the popular single board computer. That observation would be correct. It is a laptop, but it's so much more than that. Removing the keyboard will reveal a full electronics lab which is ideal for developers, educators, students, and anyone who wants to learn about electronics or programming. This is the Okay, so now let's check it out with the Fire TV stick. We'll go ahead and start up YouTube and play a short clip for you. Hello and welcome to Wagner's Tech Talk. Today we're going to take a look at the Tempest X Replicate, which of course allows you to play the video game of Tempest at 1-6 scale. Now we'll play a few quick movie clips. Welcome, Patrick. May I compliment you on being fashionably late? Can I get you a glass of punch? Sure. Do you have any trouble finding the place? Here you are. Thanks. <laughs> so is the punch okay? Not bad. Not bad. Mm. I used a different screen for filming outdoors. It's a lesser quality, lots of wrinkles, came out of a closet. It was cold, the ground was wet, there were a lot of leaves, and I didn't want to mess up my new screen. For this last test, I decided to use the Pi 400, which was recently released, and a battery bank connected to the projector, and we're going to run RetroPie and play a few games. I'll pan the camera around so you can get an idea of the distance between the projector and the screen which was about 20 feet, and I'll be playing with this wireless controller. Mexico. 
And now we'll check out Metal Slug on the Neo Geo emulator. Mission 1, start! I hope you enjoyed this look at the GemTab M18 projector. I think for the price, you know, roughly around $200, I think it's an excellent deal. You get a lot of connectivity options. You have two HDMI ports, your SD card slot, two USB ports, AV, VGA. The output looks fantastic in my opinion. Honestly, I can't think of anything really negative to say about this particular machine, other than perhaps it'd be nice if the fan were quieter, but that's the same with any projector. What are your thoughts? Please comment below and let me know. If you found this video helpful, please click the like button. If you'd like to see more from Wagner's Tech Talk, I invite you to please subscribe to the channel. And with that, I will talk to you very soon.